Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist, Lindsay Monroe. Good morning, everyone. Take a look at this photo sent in yesterday using our reported feature. Bob, Barb Williamson from Vermilion County, Indiana, sent in this picture to us of the sunset yesterday, and she said, hard to capture such a pretty image. The photo does not even do justice to the colors she saw in the sky yesterday, but still a fantastic photo. Thank you, Barb, for using our, our reported function at WTHITV.com. We would still love to see your photos. Head outside and snap a picture. We're starting to see those leaves falling off the trees at this point. I've noticed as time has progressed, fewer leaves are out there, so still just a little bit more time to see the pretty fall foliage across the uh, valley. 44 degrees now here in Terre Haute. The sky is mostly clear and those clear skies correlating to some cooler temperatures. Winds now out of the west at six miles per hour. We'll keep those numbers down for today. We have an area of high pressure that has moved into our west and that is what's going to keep that sky mainly clear as we roll through our Wednesday. You can already see the cloud cover moving out through the overnight hours and those clear skies will be around as we work our way through the day today. So not much going to change on on future cast will keep those skies mainly clear as temperatures rebound back into the mid 50s for our afternoon. Just a light breeze coming in out of the west 5 to 15 miles per hour. Here's how your day will play out. Again, we are looking at a mostly sunny sky from start to finish as temperatures rebound from the 40s this morning back to 52 by noon. But again, you'll notice it really doesn't warm up all that much. Only around 56 for our high today around 5 p.m. Heading through the evening tonight, we'll keep a partly cloudy sky around. Temperatures, though, expected to turn more cool as we drop back into the mid 30s. Even areas of patchy frost will be possible as we wake up for our Thursday. Thursday afternoon will be mainly dry as we rebound back into the mid 50s. Pretty much repeat of today with our temperatures. But then we're looking at our next weather system that's set to move in Thursday evening through the overnight to putting us into Halloween on Friday. A few isolated showers possible Thursday evening, keeping a fairly unsettled weather pattern with a cool breeze there out of the northwest. And you'll notice by Friday morning just that chance of an isolated shower or two. And that uh, additional cloud cover is going to keep temperatures down for our Halloween, only looking to top out in the 40s. Winds pick up. It'll be a very windy day on Friday, almost just an unpleasant one as we wrap up our work week. So for today, near 56 degrees, a mostly sunny afternoon, but keep in mind that cool air has arrived and it's going to stick around with us. Temperatures back near 35 tonight with a mostly clear sky. Do keep in mind that patchy frost is going to be possible, so it does look like that growing season is coming to an end for this year, perhaps by this weekend. So if you still have sensitive plants outdoors, a good idea to make sure they are covered or just bring them inside. 56 again for tomorrow with a partly cloudy sky and a chance of evening showers moving in Thursday, lasting on and off throughout the day on Friday. Otherwise, a pretty overcast sky expected for your overnight, putting us into Friday morning, at least a 30% chance of a few scattered showers. Looking ahead, though, at Friday night through Saturday morning, temperatures drop back near just 29 and through the weekend these numbers really unseasonably cool near 27 again on Sunday rebounding to near 50 and then staying dry through the first part of next week as temperatures rebound back into the mid to upper 50s next chance of rain moving in next Tuesday.